Hey cryptic creatures, welcome back to the crypt. I just did a transformation video, which is by the way, inspired by Toxic Tears. Love her. You can go watch it here. Here is the link. I'm not wasting three hours by just filming one video. So we're about to do the goth tag, which I have mixed feelings about, but instead of jumping into those feelings, let's just dive into the video. So one of the reasons I want to do this tag is just because I know that there's a lot of gatekeepers in the community. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Not that I have to explain myself, but I just feel like it's easier to just put things out there before people start throw and hate your way. Um, and let me just side note, this is how I feel about gatekeeping. I understand the desire to preserve the integrity of a culture, but I feel like for the most part, gatekeeping comes from a deep need to feel significant. And it's just one way that people feel significant is that they hold the keys to the culture. <laughs> they tell you who is and who is not allowed into the party and to be part of the club, you know? And that gives you a feeling of significance. You feel like you know more and you're truer than other people. And to me, that really, that's all it boils down to, not just in the goth community, but in any community where there's gatekeepers or elitists, it's all just about significance. That out of the way, I'm doing the goth tag. This is an old tag, but we're doing it anyway. So the first question is, how long have you been goth? <laughs> Well, I did grow up listening to goth music and being part of goth culture. Um, I definitely dressed goth when I was in high school. I wouldn't say, and in my early 20s, I wouldn't say that that was my only style. I kind of had a combination of goth, alternative, and you know, metal styles all combined into one because I listened to all of that music. I wasn't, I was not a purist by any stretch of the imagination. I listened to goth, I listened to metal mostly, but I listened to a ton of other genres as well. Um, but to answer the question, since I was 14 years old, that was the first time that I heard real goth music and the first bands that I really got into were the Sisters of Mercy, Switchblade Symphony. I think those were the first two and then everything else that I listened to kind of followed after that. Alien Sex Fiend, Specimen, Virgin Prunes, all those bands. And I was 14 years old. How were you introduced to goth? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> so I feel like part of the tension that exists about goth, there's like three aspects to goth. There's like a music aspect, literally the music genre that is goth. There is the appearance aspect, which is, you know, that there are certain goth aesthetics. There's also kind of like a interest aspect, I guess you could say, of you know, things that are generally on the darker, in the darker realm. She's teleporting and down, sad and stop. So all that said, how I got into goth, well, first of all, it was through style. I liked the style before I heard the music. I got very much into goth aesthetic in middle school. So I listened to metal first, like new metal was honestly like the first kind of heavy or dark genre that I listened to. So like Korn, Slipknot, Power Man 5000, Kitty, all those bands, those were the first bands that I got into. And then it kind of started getting heavier a little bit with Cradle of Filth. Cradle of Filth was probably, <laughs> Cradle of Filth was probably the first like non new metal band that I was obsessed with in middle school. And I thought that that was goth music because of the way that Danny Filth dressed. I thought, well, he's a goth, so this is goth music. And then I forgot when or how I was corrected but honestly, I think it was just the internet. Like the internet had just come out. And so when I was 14, I looked up goth bands, goth music, and I found a whole other realm of music that sounded nothing like Cradle of Filth. So yeah, pretty much the internet. It was pretty much through a combination of style, being into the style. And then literally when I got the internet at the age of 14, searching for goth bands and goth music and 
Finding the Sisters of Mercy and Finding Switchblade Symphony. What gothic subgenre would you put yourself into? Well, I wouldn't put myself into any gothic subgenre. Um, I even love Death Rock. Tragic Black was one of my favorite bands. They're from Utah. And I love the death rock style. I just, and I tried it a few times. I just never personally could pull it off. Personally, like in terms of like dress, I probably fell more along the lines of trad goth than anything else. Question number four is what do you believe to be the basis of, <laughs> hang on. What do you believe to be the basis of gothic subculture? That's a really interesting question. What what is at the heart? I mean, it's the music for sure, but what was at the heart of the music? The music really kind of came from the whole like punk scene and just kind of being alternative. I mean, that word I think has kind of lost its meaning. Alternative is like outside of the norm or something different or you know sort of a rejection of mainstream and not just for the sake of being edgy but for the sake of like resistance you know and I feel like resistance is kind of at the core of goth and punk and metal and all of these genres that were created way back in the day but I feel like we've lost that a lot. You can buy from these like big mainstream companies now. Um, I mean Technically, that was a thing back in the day with Hot Topic too. You know, big businesses kind of capitalizing on something that originated from rejecting the mainstream. I find that most people who gravitate towards goth or metal or punk have something within them that they are trying to resist against. And maybe their whole life isn't, you know, resistance against the machine or whatever but there's something in their life that they feel they have to resist against and i feel like that is still probably at the heart of the goth subculture what do you dislike about being goth <laughs> well again yeah just the elitism within the community yeah i think the elitism within the community is actually part of the reason that the resistance that goth was originally created from has sort of been squashed. That sort of elitism and gatekeeping kind of hinders creativity. Even if it seems like something so simple as style, like human ex expression is so important and I think that's one of the things that gets stifled in this world. And anyone who's encouraging expression rather than stifling it, I think that's a good thing and I think that's at the core what it's supposed to be about. What do your parents think of it? Uh, well, if I dressed how I'm dressed now every day, I don't think, first of all, I don't think my parents would be shocked. But second of all, I don't think they would care because I'm old now and I can do whatever I want. So, <laughs> seven, eyebrows or no eyebrows? Well, up until today, eyebrows. I had eyebrows for 31 years. Eight, what is your favorite band? <laughs> That is a loaded question. Also, like, I'm sad to say I just don't listen to music as much as I used to back in the day. I don't know why. I think because I watch so much YouTube now. <laughs> so, like, I'm just always watching YouTube instead of always listening to music. But my favorite bands... Well, even when I was the most into goth that I had ever been in my whole life, um, even when I was mostly listening to goth, when I was in a goth band, at the time, my favorite band, Slipknot was my favorite band, which is not goth at all, but that's how it was, and Slipknot was my favorite band for like 10 years. My favorite goth band, not to be cliche, but I just always loved them, probably because they were one of the first bands that I listened to, but I love the Sisters of Mercy. I really do. Marianne, Some Kind of Stranger, like those songs just like, still hit me in my soul. I like my favorite band now though to answer the question. That's a hard question because I feel like for a long time it was Mastodon and it's not that they're not my favorite band, but it's just that I think that I'm listening to other things way more than I listen to them. What is, what is the criteria to make a band your favorite band? Is it the band you listen to the most? Is it the band you've listened to the longest and still listen to? Is it the band that like gives you the most feels when you listen to it? And if it's the last one, well, it's kind of hard to compare because a lot of bands might give you like equal amount of feels or a lot of, you know, music groups might give you equal amount of feels. So, and lately I've really been listening to a lot of eBay, -E, which is like not metal or goth or anything at all. It's supposedly Electro Doom Soul, which I had never heard of until I started listening to them. Um, Coco Rosie I really like a lot, which is another kind of dark. I don't even know what genre they are either, but I've been listening to them a lot the last couple of years. Gojira I really like, which is, again, <laughs> not goth, but that's what I like to listen to. I like to listen to a little bit of everything. And Randy Travis. 
I'm not gonna lie. Wow, this is an interesting question because this literally just changed. Okay, so number nine, what is your opinion on Marilyn Manson? First of all, I think that that's a funny question because I feel like that's, again, such a point of tension within goths. Like, most goths hate Marilyn Manson. Like, Marilyn Manson is not goth and it's like everything that i shouldn't say most goths but i was one of those kids that loved marilyn manson and marilyn manson was one of the bands that was kind of like my gateway to everything and i very much enjoyed listening to marilyn manson up until recently when i found out that i found out some bad things i found out about how abusive he was to his ex-wife. And I stumbled across that information when I found out that Jessica from Jack Off Jill was in an abusive relationship with Twiggy from Manson. So like finding out those two things about Manson and Twiggy really just like put a damper on the whole thing. Yeah, so how do I feel about Merlin Manson? Not for any of the reasons that you would think. I am not a fan. I used to be, but not anymore. Not anymore. What were your baby bat days like? Well, I feel like I'm having a resurgence of baby bat days. I mean, look at me. Do I not look like a baby bat right now? But my like real true baby bat days, it was a lot of fishnets, um, a couple parachute pants, a couple bondage skirts, and really, really bad makeup. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm good at it, but I mean, back then it was literally just taking eyeliner and just like, <laughs> encircling your eye in black eyeliner and looking like a raccoon. I mean, it was really bad. Yeah, that is the tag and I'm glad that I did this tag. I, like I said at the beginning, have mixed feels about it in terms of me doing it, but I do have a history with the goth community and before anyone comes at me for using the word goth in any of my tags, I wanted to put that out there, you know, and you could still judge me if you want, but now at least you're informed while you're judging me. So anyway, those are my opinions about the goth tag. If you do the goth tag, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to watch it, especially if you did it after watching this video. So that is all for today and I will see you all later.